like everybody but Larsness is here. So uh, looking to approve the agenda. So moved to the third. Be right for the second. All right. All approved. Aye. 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 Sorry. Opposed? Nay. Okay, we're good. All right. Visitor comments. Doesn't look like we have any visitor comments. I said the parking lot was full. I thought we were going to have a great example for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, special recognitions and honors, uh, Mr. Superintendent. Good evening, board. Uh, tonight, I like the Minnewaska School Board, would like to thank Terry Richards, Kelly Blake, and Mary Walsh for a vacation commitment to uh, our native area. Uh, you know, Angie is on the back, so you do have all the action that happens all the community, but I know Angie and this crew especially do a tremendous amount of work in the coordination and the execution of their care. So, really want to touch, uh, you know, just I just want to say thanks so much for what they did. Angie, anything you'd add? Uh, all the coordination they did? No. I, I, How many I 12 projects really do you remember? I don't remember. I can look it up before the meeting. But there's a lot of work that goes on the back end that Terry and Kelly and Mary really took care of our logistics and working with teachers and projects. And so I want to thank you Angie, see them give all, all the pictures, uh, the principals, the service. I mean, I, I do feel like it was a, you know, every year it's a, it's a well received event. All right, sounds good. So we are looking for approval of minutes of the following meetings. This is the last meeting. All right, uh, can I get a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve. Thanks, Jeff. I'll second. Thanks, Angie. Um, all in favor, please say aye. All aye. Right. Opposed? All right, motion carries. Um, next is to uh, consider and approve claims, accounts, donations, and gifts. We're gonna go through the budget tonight. Uh, Drew is gonna take the lead on this, so. I've asked Drew is over, you know, over the next six months in the, the board can give me some feedback, but Drew's going to walk us through uh, our, our finances. So tonight, Mr. Chair, you're going to be approving $1,622,985.88, and uh, we will go through that now. So we have bills, so what I did is I had Drew, um, I don't know if it'll show up on but he has notes on. I had him highlight certain bills. So, Drew, so yeah, the uh, if you are on page 12 here, <coughs> and hand out, uh, starting off, just going through the first section. These are the, the checks that are going to be written tomorrow. These are, I just went through, highlight any ones that um, might be, it might seem strange or if there's anything, if they're significant dollar amounts. Uh, the card member services, that's the credit card amount. That's gonna fluctuate month to month as needed. Last month there was the Florida trip required that had the credit card bill inflated compared to this month. Yes, yeah, so if you see anybody stressed out, we, you know, that's something I'm gonna talk about long term, but we have one credit card for our school district, the $25,000 max. Uh, it was weird when I came here, but I had to fill out a credit card application. So my name is on the credit card. I don't know why, but it is. Um, but there is some friction because this time of year, when Tracy wants to order something or Chris wants to order something, it all gets through purchase orders, gets approved through by budgets, um, and then it all gets around those credit cards. So you can imagine we have state tournament trips, curriculum purchases, a lot of times. And then if you have a late board meeting and you don't approve the bills, then we don't mail this check and then we're overdue. And then for about a month, uh, we, we can't buy anything. So that's kind of how it currently works. So. When you see card member services, that's what that means. And then uh, next one down, Clean Choice, that's just the community solar garden um, monthly payment. Uh, the Harry's frozen food, that is the purchase of pizzas for the uh, fundraiser. Um, I highlighted mine there, my name there, because I figured that might be something that might trigger some red flags if you see checks that are written to myself or anybody in the the district office so that's a reimbursement for um hotel and then mileage to the masbo conference that i went to in rochester at the beginning of may um palmer bus service that's monthly um just for usage and uh, activities and stuff cisco just food purchases 
Um, and then these other, this next one, these are additional checks that came in after we first um, put together this, this packet last Wednesday. So these are invoices that have came in since then that we're gonna include in the check run tomorrow. Um, Jeff Iverson, any of those checks that you see throughout the package, those are for reimbursement of either hotel fees or ticket fees related to the community ed trip to New York City that they're going to be doing. Um, the Clay Target Association, that's for state registration fees and supplies. Um, the one there for CHIP that's highlighted that is for mileage reimbursement for travel over the course of, I think it was November up until yeah, the end of April. October, April. Yeah. Do you wait on your expense reports? No, we just don't travel a lot. Because okay. you're, not, you're not going as much as COVID. that board if it goes all the way out that way. Uh, this next section, these are the um, interim checks that have been written since the last board meeting. And so um, up at the top, I have the dates highlighted. Um, that was, there was a note that I had on the PDF version, but coming from an auditor background where I got started at, um, one of the things that we would do is just look for the check number sequences and if there's anything missing, uh, that would be something that you would probably have questions about, why isn't that included? And so um, if you had the, the sequence here ordered by check number, they're in alphabetical order here, but if you ordered them by check number, there's two um, checks that we wrote this month that we had to void because one of them, the check just got made up for the wrong amount. And then there was another one where it was for the senior class trip, they needed to book a, um, a trip event in advance and the check got, ended up being mailed to the wrong address and they were saying that they weren't able to get it. So we voided that check and then paid for that on the credit card instead. Um, other than that, Broughton's masonry that is for um, snow removal over the <coughs> winter out here. Um, Castle Inc, that was for a um, industrial tech um, uh, tool that they had to buy. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, Kildee, that's for actuarial services related to reports that we need each year. Uh, there's Jeff Iverson again for some more New York trip expenses. The payment there to Olivia, um, she's, she went to the Region 1 training for fiscal year end to get certified and get a better idea of everything that needs to be done for that up in Moorhead. Um, MMEA, I believe that was state music registration fees. Um, Palmer Bus Service, again, some just a monthly payment to them. The Wake Sun down below is the uh, other community solar garden that we're invested in. So the Northern Isles of Wake Sun and that the one that you're already getting there. Um, you see this one here, like uh, in choice. So that's 16 in this. Uh, And this 17, so we pay them for our electric and then we get reimbursed, we get rebates from Excel Energy. So one of the things that I sent out to maybe the facility committee is we had gotten uh, some information about solar from a few years ago when people put solar out here. There are, we could actually go subscribe to three more solar farms. Um, as long as they touch our county, you can become a member and then you will pay them directly, but you get Excel. So when SiteLogic did do their study, we are actually really low on our energy, you know, our energy costs. So I guess I'm probably going to look into it in the summer and see if we could, you know, whether we'd be involved. So we, we may try to be partners with these already established solar farms that have subscriptions available. And then if you guys, if you have any questions on any other ones or any of those other checks that are above, if you want to look at the actual invoice or like the credit card statement just let me know and we can uh bring that out if you want to look at that um, and then I, I look at every bill and i have to review it and sign every one of them um, and so i just had drew if it's anybody internal uh, in our offices then it gets highlighted and briefed to the board and then you just look at any large dollar number 
our students see that. You know, he's a good thing about Drew is he's an otter from them, you know, five years, so he has a pretty good handle on what uh, otter are going to look at, so just giving you a heads up. Payroll deductions, so that's that piece. Yeah, investment report is going to be pretty standard each month. It's just going to have um, pretty much interest, any changes, any account balances from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. Um, the interest is going to be pretty stable from month to month. It may fluctuate a little bit over time, but um, you'll probably see that number or something close to it for um, every month going forward. It's pretty low. Uh, food service, Bridget, anything you want to touch on? <coughs> I've asked Bridget many talking. Uh, we can go corn balance is pretty easy for her. I think we're good here. Let me see. Uh, what's the invoice say? One twenty four point eight. All right, so we can go up to five. One forty two revenues, uh, expenditures, profit loss. So we might we get a food service. Six, mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty high because we're getting full reimbursement for all meals, so everybody's eating free. We're not dealing with any debt, and then we brought in like a, a sizable corn balance from a year ago. What we're going to intentionally spend on this down this summer. Um, so, Bridget, um, yeah, we um, over at Wynn made some changes. Um, the students there were asking for extras in that. They don't have the luxury that a lot of our students do if they want extras or a la carte. So we created kind of a house account for WIN so those students who needed more to fill up for the day, um, they were able to come back after finishing their meal and ask for seconds. Um, and then we just created an account and billed WIN directly. Um, and that was going over well, so Kelly added an afternoon snack um, every day as well. So those students get the benefit of having a treat during the day that they've not been able to have before. Um, we also kickstarted the fresh fruit and vegetable program back up at Wynn. Um, that was something that Janine had done at the beginning of the year. Um, and we finally were able to get caught up and realize what it was. Um, so every morning at when they are exposed to a new fruit or a new vegetable along with something to drink with that, um, just to encourage them to try something new. Um, so a couple things we've been doing at when. Uh, I just spoke with Region 1. They're going to be preparing our year end for the Meals Plus beginning July 1st. Um, we have the last week and a half or so been clearing up a lot of really small old balances that go back to 2016. Um, we're finding a lot of them with $5 charges for lost meal IDs. So we're just cleaning it up and getting everything down to zero. Um, Meals Plus will be going away. Um, so right now I am looking at two new meal systems to select from. One is Quick Lunch, which is already set up um, and tied into both School Pay and Synergy, so it'd be pretty seamless to go with that option. Um, Titan is the other option. They basically do the same exact functions and they'll create any reports you need. Remind me, uh, Meals Plus is the front end when people punch their code and it charges your account, which feeds into School Pay to affect your balances. Yep. Maybe yep. not as critical right now, but if you remember, pointed out because we were sending kids through not punching their IDs into their for appropriate accounting to make sure that hey it isn't Drew who's eating five times a day it's legitimate this kid this kid this kid by punching their ID numbers in so mm -hmm. when you punch your ID number it goes in meals plus which feeds into school pay which you know someday when you're actually paying for food allows us to, to drive this balance it's not what it drives it's like if I go in and look at each kid I can see which kid 
so I'm sure an extra dollar a day in Meals Plus is just why is that so? Yeah, Meals Plus will do all the a la carte. It'll tell you if they ate breakfast that day, if they had lunch that day. Yep, that's the Meals Plus system. That's the meal. okay, yep. so that's what's going away. Mm -hmm. That's going away. Um, these two new options are both going to be <coughs> based. Um, and right now, the only thing that's, um, I got both bids um, Friday and looking at them side by side, they're $2,000 apart in cost. <laughs> so I need to call them tomorrow and find out why one of them is only $900 and one of them is $3,000. Um, so with that, then my goal is, will be to have one picked by the end of the week so we can uh, start training on that. Uh, we made the choice not to do a summer feeding program this year. I don't have a certified cook who is willing to do that. Um, looking at previous years, numbers were really low, um, and cost-wise, we just determined that it wasn't really going to be beneficial to try to find a cook who will do it um, and pay them to be on staff for three months to have one kid show up a day. Um, so Angie, Blair, and myself are going to be working with local uh, restaurants in the community and lining up the summer school meals for cook, easy breakfast and a quick lunch. So really this is uh, our extended school year for a win. So when the kids are here at the end of the first day of school, in order to provide a summer meal, uh, you would have to have a certified cook, have a full kitchen. And usually we don't get a lot of participation. The only kids going over there are hungry for help, not academic. And uh, you open up the site that has to be open up to all grades, much kids, which don't participate, which doesn't drive your revenues. And you basically lose money, and you have to have all the rules and everything. So what we're going to propose is she's going to do some early food balance for this 220 some thousand dollars we'll go buy out of the economy. And there's a lot of non-perishable stuff that we have just carried over in our lunches that we can supplement. So it's just going out and looking for a main breakfast item and then supplementing it with fruit that we have here already or um, you know, going and getting Subway and we have all the chips. So um, it just it's a good way of getting rid of a lot of doodads in the kitchens too as well. Um, so, and then um, Cisco Western, um, our distributor, um, because of still ongoing supply issues, we had to commit to our food um, orders for next year already. So that was in two weeks ago. Um, they are looking at suppliers who want eight to 12 week advance notices. So they're already starting to buy this week for the beginning of the school year. Um, so we, uh, I got that entered into them, and with that goes hand in hand. Um, I just submitted our menus for next year to Healthy Pro, which is our menu driven system, carries all our production records, it maintains all of the nutritional values and all of that. They are also going to take over managing our menus next year. Um, so I have one last phone call to her tomorrow to finalize um, just our special um, diet menus and then they'll get to do their magic and monitor all the um, specific guidelines because there has been some changes made to sodium and sugar intake for preschool Head Start programs. They have to do a completely different menu for them going forward. So that, like I said, we'll get that tidied up this week. Um, and then with the storm, um, I did go over there Friday to look at our food situation at Wynn to see where the refrigerator and freezers were. The freezer held out really well. We really had a minimal loss. Um, all of it came out of the refrigerator. It was mainly all of our dairy products and some deli meats. Um, I haven't added up a dollar amount yet. I don't know if we'll need any type of um, deductible. deductible on that. Um, pretty minimal. Um, and then uh, the 26th of this month, 
is the final action plan due for our March audit. Um, very minimal things there. Um, I need to get myself serve safe trained um, and a few training sessions done to get complete the follow up on our audit. And I will be doing a three day training in July and a four day training in August. So that's what we got going on. Thank you. Revenues and expenditures, any Drew? Any highlights? Um, we're at 86 percent. Yeah. We're at 86 percent in expenditures. We should see no <coughs> disbursement. Uh, I think. Um, here's our revenue. So you can see we are. Uh, Five percent of our total revenue we received, so we're, we're likely going to see our last disbursement from accounting here in the end of the month, mm -hmm. and that should bring us up to our revenues. Totals out 20, uh, 2022. Uh, and the only thing you're going to see is if you read through this, if you read through it, uh, is expense report just so you don't get overly concerned. Because I we are going to so when you we're going to probably have the finance committee come in here. In a couple weeks, but when we work on next year's budget, but when you start seeing 105, 104, 108, 103, the reason why those are all over 100 because it's like last year we had to have a budget approved in June, and then we didn't get our ESSER allocation. We knew kind of what we were going to get because we had already been forecasted 1.2 whatever million dollars. So when you look at instructional support, if you brought in people with fund COVID dollars, this is all general fund money. This has nothing to do with COVID. So you're going to be over because. You know, when you hire two two subs, you hire an extra custodian, you hire another math teacher. Those are all going to come out of COVID dollars. So we'll when we close out this year, uh, we've kind of a, you know we're kind of looking at how we would use some of the ESSER two CARES money because some of it has to be spent the month of June. Long story short, I wouldn't get overly concerned with this because this is where we can charge some of that back. So we've been paying for. Let's just say we take uh, Mr. Mo. He subbed all year. We sent a contract in October. So prorate that for how much money is full time. Well, that comes off your total instructional budget. So when you get that, it's over 105%. You still got a lot of money payroll. That's probably going to be 115%. That's because you're taking out of your, just your normal revenue. So obviously, that also informs you we can't keep doing that because otherwise, your total, you know, you'll be a totally over your budget. So we're at 86% for the year. We'll be fine. Superintendent's report, just very briefly. Uh, last week we had a little uptick in COVID. We had a total of uh, what? Students and staff, four total infected in the district. We are seeing a slight uptick with COVID, uh, but I don't see any impact as it pulls out that year. Nine days in. I did get a message from Megan. We're watching it very closely. There was a thing that came out of five county region about an uptick in COVID. Long story short, you know, I was also at the had a briefing, an all high level briefing about COVID. Uh, they do believe by maybe late this fall, early winter, we're going to start to see maybe some other issues with some other strains making their way here. Which okay. uh, the vaccine is not effective at all. So we'll, we'll worry about that in November. Let's, let's enjoy our summer. Uh, I already gave you a special recognition of honors. You, this is the consent agenda. Um, everything you're going to approve tonight is already planned for next year. You're not adding any new positions. In fact, we've already started for some of the resignations. Now we're replacing them uh, because you know we're gonna have to rotate. We're gonna have to wean ourselves off some COVID dollars. Uh, it is. I will say for the board, I am slightly concerned about our, our resignation of our hourly employees, paraprofessionals. So one of the things I did have Drew take a look at with me is could we an offer an incentive if you're a current employee to stay till the first of October and <coughs> next year maybe you would maybe we would have some kind of incentive. Um, we've been able to fill every teacher except for industrial tech, which I don't know. I think I got somebody in mind who I can just talk them into it. Um, but they're just hard to find. But 
I'm mainly concerned about our own employees. Not that I'm not worried about everybody, but we've had openings for pairs all year and just don't fill them. We're probably short six pairs right now, seven <coughs> pairs, and they just don't get replies. Um, I mentioned this, this is a determination that you're taking action on tonight. Um, we, I just want to provide an update. We had a visitor obviously come to our campus there to meet with another middle school student. Did follow up and uh, he he has left the area and he, he's returned to Ohio. So I think people can rest assured that you know took action by Sarah, her entire team. I think there are some cautions like how we even got in our building. You got to understand, unfortunately, the way it's kind of conditioned. You know, you can come in this lobby way, but if you go over to the elementary, that that is the external door. So it's a lot. It's you know, and naturally, right, wrong, or different. People we get plugged in. You know, you don't know this individual. You you may have you may have business at school. Like ideally, if we were doing this all over again, they you know when they when Pequot went through the remodel, I was part of that. I don't know if I agree with it, but the principle now is you don't come into the these doors here. When you come in there, you come into an office and you're locked into the office until the secretary buzzes you through. That's the new model. Wow. Uh, I don't know about what I feel like either. I, it, long story short, we're just not, we'd have to really consider how we're going to manage this. I think the way we're going to manage it going forward, I've sent to the board uh, at SRO. So I did meet with Mr. Riley, and I do think you're going to see a full time, a recommendation for a full time SRO working in this campus for next year. Um, 169 days. So uh, I, you know, I had, I think I told you about 35 days. So that would be us a full time person out here, which we can be in a completely new part of the body. Obviously, we think we've seen here. So, uh, you should have Rome went up with two kids up. We're at 1268 on budget 1260. This is the only position I know that we have not been able to fill currently industrial tech. And I've talked to Nate and Sarah about this. You know, I I will share with you that, hey, uh, in four or five years, we're, we cannot carry three full time industrial tech teachers. We'll have retirement most likely in that time, but you know we have two bubbles of classes going through this week, so I want to be uh, proving that. And then here's some here's some uh, meeting dates. So site logic present tonight. They're going to provide the full work session here in June, on June 8th. So no issues there. Labor board meets tonight. Student last day uh, activities committee. I also put in there uh, Carlos for retirement. That's this Wednesday. I'll be going to that. So that's that. And then I put some pictures of some kids who's daycaring. And a shout out to Jen Johnson uh, doing class A cross country. So that completes the superintendent update. Great. So Thank you. Good. All right, looking for a motion to, to approve claims, accounts, donations, and gifts. I'll make a motion. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. I need a second. So we got Nick. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. All right, so now we are looking to consider the approval of resolution number 5162022, accepting donations. donations. Yeah, Angie doesn't like to put it in the board agenda. Agenda for me? Why is that? Mm -hmm. Well, there was $602. It was, I think it was $602. Looks like. No, yep. yep. Grants, donations, gifts, six hundred and two dollars. All right. I'll make a motion to Thank accept. You, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Second. I'll second. Zach beat you. Thank you. It was close. Yeah. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. All right. Look, and we have a presentation. You. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. I did share with it all digitally. So yeah, we've we'll seen it. it. Oh, you've already seen it. Yeah. Okay. We've read the letter. We've already we read, were, read it. Yeah, but we don't know everything. Okay, so, so if you want to just click on that slideshow. So I'll just kind of recap the letter. It was just a request of uh, traveling this upcoming spring with our year to travel. So uh, we tried to travel two years ago, but with COVID, we, we tried. I tried really hard, even though last year was off and I was sick. I was <coughs> COVID was tricky. So 
after talking what our area school is doing, uh, I have a lot of really good teacher friends that are Spanish teachers, and the, most of the area schools, uh, last year I think Alec, they were able to travel. They did try Costa Rica. They did have a couple kids with COVID prior to that didn't get to go, but with the insurance policies that they have now, like even when the kids were supposed to go to Spain with me, they got most of their money back. But after tra talking to them and the travel agency, I've decided that Puerto Rico is probably the best stepping stone for us um, with the mandates and the COVID testing and where things are at. Um, if you wanna just flip through some of the pictures, um, here's just what we were, we don't have an exact itinerary um, plan because of the last time I signed it because I wanted to first request approval from the UTC and, and see what your thoughts were and then try to uh, have a parent meeting. I did a little bit of pulling of students um, I did have about 15 to 20 kids that were interested in traveling. Um, you can flip to the next slide. Um, these are just some pictures. Um, we, we are planning to go seven to eight days. The trip, plan, the cost of the trip is about $3,000. Um, we worked a lot of concession stands this last year, hoping to take every chunk of money we have and just to take off the trip because this year we have two full years of fundraising. Um, and so here are some of the places, um, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and then you can kind of see what it's like. Um, Bajardo, another um, place that we would travel to. Um, and that's still Bajardo and some of the falls. And then Ponce. Um, and then you can flip to the next slide. And there's some more pictures of Ponce. Um, enjoying some of the cultural things there. Um, and this is kind of, <laughs> hey, how are you feeling? This is to get the kids, this is what we showed them to get them pumped up about um, traveling. <laughs> So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. 15 to 20 kids. I talked with uh, area schools just to kind of see what they were doing and, and the cost of it. Um, and then if you guys have any questions. You're tying this in with like the typical spring break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And to, yeah, yeah and like the meeting said, we really tried to limit the number of student contact days that we miss. Um, probably two, usually it's two to three days. Our normal trip that we take, because I look back, I've traveled nine times to Spain and then probably two to Costa Rica. <laughs> Um, but usually, like when we go to Europe, we have traveled anywhere from 12 to 14 days. When we go to Costa Rica, it's usually around 10. So this is even more just like, oh, two weeks. So. That's a little quicker. Yeah, yeah. A little quicker flight, too. Yeah, yeah. And just to be able to let them, I mean, everybody's trying to get back in, but I mean, that's a nice stepping stone. Of course, I'm sad my second daughter now is a junior, so it's like time to travel in. I guess tonight I, I brought this is my report first of all so good to have you back yeah. healthy so we want to recognize you for that but um, again we've allowed travel I recommend yeah. we continue but I just want to make sure you know full board has knowledge of it and uh, yeah. things great I think Puerto Rico is probably a safe place um, and, uh, but that's my recommendation is we allow her to have a prayer meeting and plan our trip so moved Sounds good. Do we have, do we need an action tonight? Uh, I don't think you have action, but I will bring it forward for action. But I just want to have consent. But I was looking at the consent. I think you have consent calendars. But I think the timing was hold that one for you. I believe that Tracy has some news. Yeah. 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 All right, consent calendar. Can we pull anything out of here? It's up to the board. I do. Uh, the consent to send, if you see a copy of it. Uh, if you want to pull it up, it's on. Yeah, so what I did is uh, all year, if you had a work on extra custodian uh, out of COVID cash, we never hired. So there is some monies in there. I have to bring Jeremy back. The other thing is, uh, this is the longest, the longest uh, custodial staff we've had the entire time in, in my tenure here. So I'm not saying we're going to lose somebody, but uh, it's good to have them back and assist with our school. I also think that we have a lot of projects to get going this summer and uh, some more stuff is great. And then we're going to figure out long term what our plan is. There's also some temporary <coughs> potential resignation. So I want to make sure if we had somebody who wanted to be here, we hired them. So with that, uh, let's see. On the hiring, you see, 
of summer so a lot of summer rack uh, a lot of scheme yet hires to build anything is why we're not no, these are all building budgets so it's like she's there that's pretty much it is resignations you can see like i shared earlier uh, my concern is um, you know some of our hourly employees but it's probably when i look back it's it's not more people resigning this year than there have been years past and it's just that typically we are cutting people because we've added people throughout the year and it's doing city programs and you can that's how you end up with being two paras mm -hmm. uh, now we're pretty i'd say we're probably right size even though most people would say we need more which Sarah would always add more. I don't let her uh, because that's how you're having some thumb balance right now. Um, and then you can see extended school year. Those are all by law required. So um, in the termination, uh, documentation is always required. Uh, so sounds good. I recommend you go with that. All right, Nick. I'm looking for that motion. Oh, I'll make that. Time. All right. Can we get a second? No second. Thanks, Angie. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Okay. Looking for the approval of the 2022 23 membership of the Minnesota State High School League. Yeah, what this think, is Jeff? actually you take every year. <laughs> I do think they've got their process Literally. a little more streamlined. It's more equitable for districts of all size. Mm -hmm. And they're also better financial staff. So. All right. I would never do anything to jeopardy our, our kids, Justin. Yeah. Right. Only have done some really I, dumb things the last couple of years. Can I consider that an approval? Want to approve? Sure. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Thank you. Looking for a second. Uh, T Rex wants a second. Thanks, Deb. All right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. <laughs> A lot of election stuff. Kids got to start uh, establishing timelines. So this has to get filed with our local. Clerk, mm -hmm. so it can all get posted and yeah. So I I do want to put a shout out for Angie. I mean, she's had to take a lot of this on. And this is a <clears> lot <throat> of new information, so she's done a really good job. So first, we need a roll call vote on establishing yep. dates. Can I get a motion to approve? So moved. Second. I'll second that. All right. Roll call vote. Zavajo, yes. Ludisburg, yes. T. Reichner, yes. Holper, yes. B. Reichner, yes. Niagara, yes. Motion carries. <coughs> okay. Uh, now we need to appoint Angie as the clerk. Yep. I'll make that motion as well. Okay. I will no second pay. that. There's no pay. <laughs> there is no pay. <laughs> no additional pay. All right. Even better. I'll definitely second that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Roll call votes. Vajal, yes. Gugisberg, yeah. yes. T. Reichman. Yep. Holper. Yes. E. Reichman. Yes. Langren. Yes. And motion carries. All right. Oh, second reading and approval of the following school year handbooks. Can we consider these read for the second time? Yeah. I've read them all for the second time. Okay. <laughs> all right. Appreciate that. Looking for a motion. I'll make a motion. Thanks. All right. Seconds. T. Reichman. Seconds. All right. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Announcements. Uh, looking at the calendar, obviously this week, normal week, uh, I think there's an activities committee on the 25th. So for activities, I got four o'clock on the 25th. So I believe that's Angie, Justin, and me. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the three on the right. So there, and then graduation. I uh, just want to get a final head count. I believe the full board was coming. I cannot make it. Okay. So, yeah, you can make it so too. So there'll be five members and we're, uh, all the bleachers have been installed. Scoreboards will not be in, new lights have been put in. It's gonna look a little more like probably Veterans Day with a smaller podium, sorry, smaller platform, podium, and board members are sort of front, so. Uh, I would just say, hey, if you could be here in the boardroom at 6.30, it'll be inside. I know there's been some this, this, and this, but hey, uh, we went outside because of COVID, and hey, if we could predict the weather, and it was gonna be a top 10 weather day, sure, but it's a lot of resources to do that, and we have brand new bleachers, and we kinda wanna show off the gym. It's been repainted, and so we're just gonna hold it inside. Um, but there'll be room up front. And anything you wanna touch on graduation? No. And we'll work it through. If you want to hand out diplomas, we'll make it all work. And there'll be receiving lines on both sides. Um, 
and still figure that out. So I got graduation. There, uh, I would just say, hey, end of your retirement on 26. Board members are highly encouraged to attend. Um, if you're gonna attend, can you just let Angie will pay for your attendance? Uh, we'd love to have you there. Um, and it's when you work kind of our employees. So uh, I think it starts at five with our reception and I think dinner is like 5.30 to six. Yeah, and I think it'll be hors d'oeuvres and desserts and stuff, so. I want to thank Chris. Uh, so last day of students, this day on the 27th, graduation that night. Hey, for the board, I did send a message out to a parent. Listen, I've worked with Nate, I've worked with our, we, the only way you walked in our community is you met all the graduation requirements. We have right currently now, we have six kids on the bubble, not gonna walk, so it's the don't buy the cake speech. And we have a parent that wants to have another student participate, and I'm just like, hey, you left, you didn't have your completion. We're kind of either you're good or you're not. And I just don't, you know, uh, hey, the easy answer is say, sure, walk in, have a seat, wear your crown. But I do think there'll be six kids potentially that won't be sitting in. So, you know, if anybody asks you, I put our board policy, I put a handbook policy in there. I just, you know, if you have any questions, see me afterwards. But, you know, I know that's a very emotional thing. Great, great young person, um, but in my history of being a principal, I've had a lot of these tough, they're heart jerkers. I mean, there's a reason you have policies so you take the emotion out of the decision because it's, it's very hard. Um, but I share that with you. Uh, Chris and myself are gonna work on a plan to have every staff member kind of have two hours on the books. I put an end of your checkout list, it's more for procedural. And the reason we hired Jeremy also is there's, hey, we've been in COVID situation. <coughs> This summer we want to really get off maintenance and get everything right the way it needs to be to start the school year off but it's a checkout list and then having everybody put two hours in and then on the last <clears throat> student teacher day on that tuesday uh, there'll be a reception starting at one o'clock with some uh, chance to and it's not just teachers all of our staff to participate mta through their grants can provide the food uh beverages on your own but i didn't want anybody having a beverage on you know student you know school count be part of that and then uh, I, I would just ask everybody the eighth if there was a possibility that uh, you could be here at the work session of the media center um, we have met with psychological a couple times you know there's a lot of good information Zach was able to attend tonight takeaway pretty informational yeah yep no I thought it was a good presentation a lot of good information in there and obviously just the board details as far as what we've already seen the end of the day they have identified uh, we can pull up a magic checkbook. We write a check for twenty three thousand to fix all of our errors, like one three million. Uh, so you say, say what a deal! Like, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's all right. Uh, sorry, <laughs> twenty three million. That's all right, dude. It is. Somebody asked me in the army. I got a unit going somewhere, and I said, I think they're going to Moldova. Uh, no, they're not going to Moldova now. So don't. Big difference. Well done. So, uh, it's like a few dollar, you know, a few decimal points. But I think this work session is really informational. Um, that'll be that night. And then we have our regular board meeting on the 7th. Uh, so I put that out there. Uh, and then just for uh, some board members, uh, July is on the 18th and we don't have a work session. It's just pretty much a, a 40 minute meeting. It gets pretty quiet. And then on the 6th, I think, as well. Oh yeah, Lake the Classic. Okay. Yeah. So I have. All right. Looking for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. All right. Can do a second. I'll second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks, everyone.